in this video, I'm going to share with you the total cost and materials needed to build a septic tank with each soak pit from start to finish. I noted down every material and their cost during the construction of this septic tank and you can rely on these estimates that I'm about to show you when finding out the amount of money and the materials needed to build your septic tank from start to finish. Be sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss this. Let's begin with excavation. Excavation costed us 140 US dollars. The cost of excavating the pit will depend on its size. For example, this pit is 2.8 meters along the length, 1.7 meters along the width and 3 meters depth or 10 feet. And it costed us 140 US dollars to excavate this pit. Let's use US dollars in this video as the standard currency since we are coming from different countries. You can convert your local currency. The next item to buy are steel bars or steel reinforcements. And for this whole project, we used a total of 24 steel bars. Let me break down for you how we used these steel bars. We used 6 steel bars for the columns, 13 steel bars for the beams, both the mid ring beam and the top beam to support the slab and for the top slab we used five steel bars when we add all these together we get a total of 24 steel bars the next item to buy are rings and we used a total of 22 rings rings act as column ties and beam stirrups the next item to buy is binding wire and for this whole project we used 15 kilograms of binding wire the next item to buy are bricks and for this whole septic tank, we bought 2000 bricks. The total square meters for these walls is 27. When you use bricks of size 210 millimeters along the length, 100 millimeters width and 100 millimeters height, there are 56 bricks in one square meter, which brings us to 1,520 bricks. We added extra 500 bricks to bring us to a total of 2,000 bricks and that's what we exactly bought. This was the remaining number of bricks after the whole work was done. The next item to buy is hoop iron and we bought 4 rolls of hoop iron. We need hoop iron to reinforce these walls to make the walls strong enough. The next item to buy is cement and for this whole project, we used a total of 43 bags of cement. Let me break down for you how we used these bags of cement. We used 4 bags of cement to do concrete blinding at the bottom of the pit and also to cast concrete for the bases at the 4 corners of the septic tank. We used 6 bags of cement to build these walls at the bottom. We used 4 bags of cement to cast concrete for the mid ring beam and also for these columns below. We used 6 bags of cement to build this top part of the wall. We used 3 bags of cement to cast concrete for this top part of the columns. We used 5 bags of cement to plaster the sides of the walls and also for this cement paste that we put on the top surface of the wall. We also used 15 bags of cement to cast concrete for these beams on top here and also for the slab. When we add all these together, it brings us to a total of 43 bags of cement. The next item to buy is waterproofing powder and we bought a total of 5 sockets. Each socket is half a kilogram. Why did we buy 5 sockets? We mix one socket of waterproofing powder with one bag of cement. Therefore, since we used only 5 bags of cement to plaster the walls, we mixed one socket of waterproofing powder for each bag of cement. The next item to buy is sand and we bought 12.5 tons of lake sand. We used this elf truck to transport material to site and we bought 5 elf trucks. Its loading capacity is 2.5 tons per trip. Therefore, for 5 trips of sand, it will bring us to 12.5 tons of lake sand. And it was absolutely enough. You also have to buy aggregates and we bought exactly 6.25 tons of aggregates or stones. We used this same truck to transport aggregates to site and we used exactly two and a half elf trucks which brings us to a total of 6.25 tons since each truck is 2.5 tons. Different trucks have different loading capacities. The most common trucks in my country are this elf truck with loading capacity of 2.5 tons, the forward truck with loading capacity of 4.5 tons and the sino truck which has loading capacity of 37 tons. Before we go to the next item, if you are getting any value from this video, 
kindly hit that subscribe and like button. I would really appreciate. Let's proceed. The next item to buy is timber for shattering or foam work and we bought 25 pieces of timber for all the work including foam work for the columns, foam work for the mid ring beam and foam work for the top slab. We used some of them for the columns, did the shattering and then reused them again on the top slab. We also bought 10 vertical posts, the ones to support the slab. You have to maintain a spacing of 300 mm or 1 foot maximum from one post to another. The next item to buy is nails and we bought 8 kilograms of nails to support the foam work. Be sure to watch this video till the end because the next item we are going to find out is the cost of building a sock pit which is the most important part of a septic tank. The cost of excavating the pit for the sock way was exactly 100 US dollars. We filled the sock pit with 5 elf trucks of hardcore at a total cost of 167 US dollars. We bought this pipe at the center of the sock pit at exactly 39 US dollars. The cost of filling these stones or hardcore into the pit was just 30 US dollars. We bought 10 square meters of a polythene sheeting to cover on top of the sock pit. Now that we have all the materials we need, you can just fill in the cost depending on the prices in your local region. Let's fill in the prices in my local region here. $140 for excavating the pit, $300 for steel bars, $223 for clay bricks, $430 for cement, $10 for waterproof, $180 for sand, $139 for aggregates, $56 for the 25 pieces of timber, $14 for the vertical posts, and $14 for the nails. Add $4 for the polythene sheeting that we put at the underside of the slab. The labor cost for building this septic tank from start to finish was only $400. US When you add all this together, you get a total of $2026. US Therefore, when you add the cost of the septic tank and then you add the cost for the soap pit, you get a total of $2372. US Write your country in the comment section and we see how much it can cost you in your local currency. In summary, this septic tank and its sock pit will cost you at least $2,372 US dollars from start to finish. Be sure to ask me anything you want to know about septic tanks in the comment section. I reply you immediately. Thank you so much for watching. Click on this video here on the right and know how we build a standard soak pit from start to finish in just under 3 minutes.